Hotels Group Millennium and Cobthorn soared after the Singaporean billionaire vying to take it over upped his offer. Kwek Leng Bang, the 77-year-old chairman of MNC who already owns 65.2% of the company through investment vehicle City Developments Limited, has offered pounds 2 billion to take outright control. The offer, at 620p per share, is a 38.8% premium to the closing price of 446.7p before an initial proposal was made in August. Millennium and Copthorne, which owns seven sites in the capital, including the Chelsea Harbour Hotel and the Millennium Hotel in Mayfair, rose 6.1%, or 35.5p, to 613.5p following the news. CDL claimed the offer was final and that it had been recommended by MNC's independent directors. It announced the bid just 75 minutes before it had to make a firm offer or walk away after its earlier proposal of 552.5p per share faced criticism from the hotel chain's investors who argued that it undervalued the business and did not reflect the value of its assets. Grant Kelly Chief executive of CDL said that taking MNC private would ensure it is best place to compete in the competitive marketplace. It caps off a week of heavy takeover activity, which has seen Signworld agree a deal with US rival Regal, gambling company GVC launch a swoop on Ladbrook Squirrel, and Hammerson announce a tie-up within two. The FTSE 100 finished up 1 PC, or 73.21 points, at 7,393.96. The banking sector was boosted by clarity on Brexit, with Lloyds up 3.6%, or 2.29p, to 66.8p, Barclays up 2.5%, or 4.75p, to 196.4p, and Royal Bank of Scotland up 2.1% or 5.9p to 281p. Also up was Dunalm, which was lifted after Deutsche Bank gave it a Christmas boost. The German bank said it expects the homeware retailer to post a positive update next month as it benefits from the integration of online rival world stores, which it snapped up for £8.5 million last year. It upped its share price target for Dunalm to 685p from 640p, but maintained its hold rating following a challenging 12 months of trading. The stock grew by 4.8%, or 33p, to 721p among Deutsche's top Christmas crackers was Boohoo, which soared after it said that recent share price weakness made it attractive again. It gave the firm a buy rating, noting that it is trading at a discount to rivals ASOS and German group Zalando. It added that it expects Boohoo's trendy sister brand Pretty Little Thing to benefit from its recent collaboration with socialite Kourtney Kardashian, while Nasty Gal is expected to contribute pounds 10 million to group sales. The comment sent shares up 4.2%, or 7p, to 174.25p as well as Boohoo, the German bank's other top picks included Primark owner Associated British Foods, up 1%, or 31p, to 2883p, and discount retailer B&M, up 0.9%, or 
or 3.5p, to 395.4p. Buhu won the online fashion stakes, beating out rival ASOS, which Deutsch maintained at hold. But ASOS share price slipped after Morgan Stanley downgraded it in a separate note to underweight from equal weight, claiming its recent investment into the business might not have as much impact as hoped. The bank said, while ASOS shares have performed well, growth was partly driven by price cuts for international shoppers as a result of the weak pound a reduction in delivery times, and adding free returns to key markets. Shares fell 0.03%, or 2p, to 6,024p.